Striker Scorpion 82 is now sponsored by Warhammer Combat Cards, a card battle game featuring your favourite Citadel miniatures from the 40k universe. Build your army decks, dominate opponents in player versus player action, collect and upgrade cards to fit your strategy, improve their power and unlock unique traits. Choose from all 40k factions, take part in campaigns based on iconic 40k battles, rise to the top of the leaderboard and win glory. Free to download and play, link is in the video description below or on the channel homepage and by using the unique link it helps support the channel. Thanks and enjoy the game. Right, welcome to another episode of Warhammer 40,000. It's 2,000 points. The Imperial Knights will now begin their campaign for Season 8, and they will take on the might of the Drakari. Alright, so welcome to this 2,000 points battle. Uh, it's Drakari versus Imperial Knights. Drakari have already played two games for the season. And Imperial Knights, this will be their first battle here so uh, Drakari performing very well at the moment uh, they're looking for uh, a victory that will hopefully put them through into the final stages of the season and they'll be up against uh, the Imperial Knights here. so a, a bit experimental at the moment with the Imperial Knights just trying to get them onto the uh, league here and to start off still a few units to go uh, but there is a good presence of Knights here in this force uh, and they'll be using some Admech allies to help them out in this game. We're going to run through the Drakari. I'm going to run the Drakari here and then Aaron Allen has gladly agreed to use the Imperial Knights and Admech allies in this fight. So just before I run through the list, I just mentioned the Patreons at gold level. That's Marcus Anthony, Paul Cook, Alex Stillwart, Nicholas Lucas and Andrew Swan. So big thanks to them for their support at gold level. Uh, then you can check out the end credits for those supporting at silver level as well. And then uh, thanks also to those supporting at bronze. I've set up the Striking Scorpion 82 Patreon page. All of the proceeds uh, on that page go directly to our local War Games Club, SSWG, uh, just to help support them. And they invest the funds in new and exciting terrain projects as well. So if you want to help out a local club, that's the club where I started uh, playing 40k, uh, then check out the Striking Scorpion 82 Patreon page so uh, link for that is in the video description below so Drakari here this is a revamped list and uh, it's been great to see them make a return to the channel it's an army that I'd shelved for a long time I uh, just wasn't keen on using them for a while the army was a bit disjointed but I've revamped uh, the list injected some new points and I think the structure is better and so far they've been performing quite well, so the structure is battle forged, there's a double battalion and also an air wing detachment as well. So I'll start with the air wing detachment, just the easiest one to go through. So one razor wing jet fighter with two dark lances and I paid for the missiles on that as well. And, and then also the void raven bombers, two of them with their void lances. Uh, they're carbol of the black heart, so they're going to get a six plus feel no pain for those vehicles just to try and make them a little bit more uh, durable. Then the first battalion uh, made up of, uh, it's a Kabul here, again it's Kabul of the Black Heart, so they will count 
uh, their power from paint is one turn further along and then the six plus feel no pain as well granted to vehicles as well as the infantry so all the venoms in this list are from that carble uh, so they'll get the six plus feel no pain so too is the ravager and also the two raiders across here as well so to fulfill the battalion two hqs required uh, for this carble so two archons each with an agonizer and blast pistol uh, the warlord here i've given him the warlord trait labyrinth of cunning so that is uh, six pluses required uh, to harvest command points whenever a stratagem is used by either side during the game just a chance to try and rake in a few command points and then the second in command uh, this one just here I've given him a relic it's writ of the living muse so that's reroll ones to wound it's going to act like a bit of a lieutenant here uh, for uh, this Strakari force then for troops, you need three to fulfill the battalion. Uh, so it's Carbolite Warriors, one, two, three squads, all the same, five man squads, and each of those has a blaster uh, for them. And dedicated transport, uh, there is a Venom uh, with the two splinter cannons uh, to go with each of those squads, just to provide a bit of firepower support and some ability and objective grabbing ability as well. So I'll mention the Incubi just here, squad of five, the dual blades for the squad leader uh, just there. Uh, then also in this uh, battalion is the two raiders, uh, each of those with the disintegrator cannons. And then a ravager with three dark lances is in that battalion as well. That's a heavy support choice. The second battalion, uh, it's a witch cult here, it's cult of the red grief. So advance and charge uh you're allowed to make with those and it's re-rolling charges as well just to add a bit of speed uh, to that witch cult uh, battalion uh, so for hq choices uh, drazar master of blades is the first hq uh, then also a succubus just here uh, i've paid an extra command point to give her a warlord trait that's plus one to the invun save so three plus invun save in close combat uh, and then as uh, a relic as well it's the blood glaive which is unique to cult of the red grief just a better glaive and there's no minus to the hit rolls uh, when using that just to uh, make that succubus a bit better in close combat uh, then uh, troops choices three units of five witches one unit just here inside of venom and then two more units of five and they'll pair up and go inside at the second raider they're all armed the same uh, so the hecatrix is armed uh, with agonizer and blast pistol and then each squad has a shard net and impaler uh, for them as well uh, then i uh, forgot to mention back in the other battalion uh two lamayans here uh they're not characters uh, but just had some spare points so just going to act as a bit of a bodyguard uh, for the archons here in this force there's two of them and then with the witch cult there's also three units of three reavers uh, each of those has a blaster in each of those squads so that's the list here for Drakari. uh it's mechanized which has proved difficult for armies to break open the transports uh, and then multiple units and then some nasty characters hidden away and on top of that some decent air power here uh, to provide some firepower support during the battle as well we'll see if the imperial knights can humble this Drakari force we'll take a look now and see what aaron allen has uh, he'll take command of the imperial knights in this fight All right, so 2,000 points of Imperial Knights. Uh, it's going to be the, the final army is going to be House Terran. Got a couple of models left to paint up. So in the meantime, uh, the Admech fit in nicely. Been able to harvest some command points here of a, a cheap battalion, a bit of infantry support, and then a, another knight to add in uh, to beef up this knight list. So I'll, I'll go through the allies first of all. So I've gone for a cheap battalion. Uh, so two tech priest engine seers as the hq choices then for troops have gone for rangers unit of eight uh there with their galvanic rifles there's two arc rifles in that squad as well and then some sniper support here two squads of five and and there's two transonic archibus uh, models in each of those squads then uh, so that's a battalion detachment uh, mars is the forge world and then at the back there you can see a knight errant it's armed with the reaper chainsword uh, the thermal cannon uh, the heavy stubber and then also there is the rocket pod on top as well 
So that's the battalion, five command points for that. I reckon they've got the command points right here. To add, and then Battle Forge, you get three command points for that. And then Super Heavy, uh, a Super Heavy Detachment with the updated rules, uh, because we've got at least one Titanic unit in that detachment, we'll get three command points. Right, then for the Super Heavy Detachment here, it's House Terran. This is the main uh, bulk of the army. I've deducted two command points off of here, taken an extra Warlord trait, and an extra relic as well. So these two are going to count as characters during the game. I've given them uh, each has a wall of trait and a relic as well. Just to try and beef up these units as much as possible. So uh, first is the two uh, Armagers uh, Warglaves just here. Uh, a Reaper Chain Cleaver for each of those. Uh, a Melter Gun on top. And then also Thermal Spears uh, on both of those machines. Uh, then the Knight Paladin at the back. Uh, Reaper Chain Sword. I had heavy stubber and then a second heavy stubber it's got the repeater battle cannon just there i've uh, made that into relic it's the thunder of Voltoris, so just to improve the firepower available from that weapon and the warlord trait is land strider so it's plus two to advance and charge rolls made for friendly household units within six inches of the warlords so the idea is that these kind of stick together and that bonus can be conferred onto those units nearby and then finally uh, it's the Knight Valiant here. Uh, so uh, one twin Siege Breaker cannon on top, uh, four Shield Breaker missiles, uh, two sets of the twin melters, uh, the Thunder Coal Harpoon as well, and also the Conflagration Cannon. And that's been upgraded. It's been made into Relic the Traitor's Pirate. So you get to reroll wounds uh, for that with those 3d6 auto hits that come through so it is armed to the teeth bit more of a short range weaponry on this thing but uh, it may well prove quite potent if it can get stuck in in amongst the Drakari. so that's the list here for the imperial knights i think knights are quite well uh, represented here this is a, a nice strong detachment and then the admech just slot in nicely bringing their own knight along with them as well and a bit of infantry support also here for the Imperial Knights, but uh, we've not played this combination before, so it'll be fascinating to see how well these two armies cope against each other. That's the list uh, for both sides. We'll take a look at scenario and deployment next. Alright, so we have a scenario here for this mission. Uh, it's been randomly determined. We've gone to Chapter Peru 2019 and a 1 was rolled, so that's Crusade uh, for Eternal War. So, straightforward mission, this one, just controlling objectives. There's six of them on the board. Search and Destroy is the deployment. Uh, so, Drakari won the roll-off. We elected to be the attacker. Uh, so, Aaron determined the map and elected to go uh, in that corner over there, just marked by the orange dice. Uh, Drakari deployment zone is over in this corner, uh, marked by these red dice uh, running along here. So that's our deployment zone just there. And then come around to this corner, this is Aaron's deployment zone just here. That's the view that he has. And the deployment zone just marked out uh, by these orange dice just here. Six objectives on the board, uh, all of equal value in this mission. Uh, first one, uh, marked by this canister just next to the drop pod. Uh, then one here. Uh, this Blood Angel's Terminator on a throne, uh, nicely inside uh, the Imperial Knight's deployment zone. Uh, then there is one just next to this abandoned Land Raider. Uh, it's just there. We're just using the uh, Terminator Teleport Homer. Then uh, the Cat from the Space Hulk set is just tucked in there. That's another objective marker. It's right on the very edge of the Drakari deployment zone. Then the fifth objective, uh, this Dead Terminator just here uh, nicely inside the Drakari deployment zone and then the final objective is in no man's land but quite close to the Imperial Knights deployment zone it's another canister just here so each of those objectives is worth one point each uh, season control is uh, the way of picking up points is starting from the second battle round each player scores one victory point for each objective marker they control at the start of their turn it's just the usual rules for holding objectives uh, for units on the board uh, slay the warlord first strike and line breaker also available in this mission so uh, Drakari have elected to be the attackers so they're going to deploy first and they will go first or choose to go first or second and if they do go first then the imperial knights can try and seize the initiative so we're going to deployment now uh, for these two forces 
Right, so the battle mat that we're using in this game is from gamemat.eu. Uh, six by four inch size, rolls out nice and flat. I put it onto a flat surface. Then we place some terrain and then some uh, lichen, some scatter, some rocks, and it all blends in uh, nicely. So that's the mat. And then also we're using uh, some of the terrain from gamemat.eu as well. Uh, so uh, this industrial terrain here uh, and this one. Also, some of the larger containers as well, uh, all from gamemat.eu. That's uh, their industrial terrain set being used. And I've been painting up to match in with my Admech terrain. But you can check out gamemat.eu for your supplies of battle mats and pre-painted terrain as well. All right, so deployments complete. Drakari uh, making their deployment first here. And it looks like they are going to go first uh, unless the initiative can be stolen from them. So we're holding back to some degree. Uh, here, the Imperial Knights are nasty enough at close range of their firepower and in close combat as well. Uh, so, uh, uh, Venom just here on the right hand flank with Carb Light Warriors inside, uh, which is inside this one, Carb Light Warriors inside the other. Uh, just because there's snipers in the area, I've tucked the second in command, the Archon, uh, just behind this container. Two units of Reavers, uh, plus one toughness uh, for their combat drugs for both of those units. Uh, I'll cover the other combat drugs, the units that are off the board in just a moment. The Ravagers here at the back have kept the Flyers as far back as possible as well. Uh, and then the two Raiders are just to the left of that. So uh, inside this one, uh, the two units of Witches. Inside the second one uh, is Strazar, Master of Blades, the Incubi, uh, the Archon, the Warlord, uh, the two Lemayans and then also the Succubus as well. And then over on the extreme left hand side, unit of Reavers, uh, plus two leadership to those. And then also uh, the Venom here with a unit of uh, Carbolite Warriors in as well. So that's deployment done. I uh, did have the option to try and put flies into reserve, but I want them on the board uh, immediately here to lay down some firepower. So no reserves at all here for the Drakari. Uh, plenty of units inside transports. So uh, this Raider. With the Incubi and the characters inside. Second Raider has the two units of five witches. Uh, given plus one attack to the Succubus. Plus one weapon skill to this squad of witches. Plus two move to this unit of witches just here. Uh, plus one strength to the unit of witches inside the Venom. And then there's the uh, teams of Carbolite Warriors. We'll have a look now and see the deployment for the Imperial Knights. So uh, quite aggressive here from the Imperial Knights. Uh, deploying uh, quite close to their edge. The two Armiga uh, Warglaives just here. Uh, the Knight Errant, uh, just next to them. The infantry squads here, uh, Tech Priests, first one here, second one just here. A squad of eight with the two Arc Rifles uh, just hidden behind. Snipers have taken position on top here with a pretty good field of view across the board. And 60 inch range of those weapons. So uh, Drakari characters need to watch out uh, for them. Then the Valiant uh, right at the very edge of the deployment zone. And then just behind is the Knight Paladin. So uh, quite a quick deployment here uh, from both armies uh, will now prepare to go on to the first turn of the game so deployments complete we'll go on to the first turn here i'm going to elect elect to go first so we're going to be the attacker so if aaron wishes he can try and seize the initiative we'll try. hasn't happened for a while in our games yeah. but uh you never know yep. no it's a two all right so it will be the Drakari that will go first so uh, with a point to prove they've done well so far in the league the Drakari will make the first move imperial knights have now arrived We'll see how well they cope against a Drakari raid. Turn one coming up next for the Dark Kin.
right, so we're on turn one, getting ready to move out here with the Drakari. Uh, Canticles have been rolled up here, uh, so the result of two, Aaron gets two rolls because uh, it's Mars. A uh, result of two is if you find an enemy unit within an inch, uh, you're rolling up a six plus to cause mortal wounds, so uh, that's no help. But he's rolled a six as well, which is real ones uh, in the shooting phase. And Knight of the Cog has been played here as well, so that knight, uh, the red one there uh, from... Uh, the Adeptus Mechanicus Codex that will benefit from uh, that canticle this turn. So that night will be reroll ones for its shooting. So we'll commence the raid. I think we'll need to try and go for the usual approach with the Drakari. We'll stay inside our transports and try and soften up the enemy with our longer ranged firepower. We're going to the uh, first turn movement now uh, for the Drakari. Right, so movement's complete here for the Drakari. Just closing in. Uh, well, hoping to close in for the kill. We'll see what happens. Uh, there's uh, tough targets here for the Drakari to pick on, and they can't pick on all of these targets uh, here. They've got to try and focus in on one of these knights, uh, I think, and try and bring it down as best as they can. So, flyers uh, moving across. Uh, so, this uh, Archon just here. A lot of the vehicles and flyers within six inches just to grant the reroll ones uh, to hit because he's an Archon and the reroll ones to wound as well with his relic. Uh, Ravager's just here, just anchoring this objective. Uh, we've pushed ahead quite aggressively with, with this Venom uh, and then back here the two Raiders. Just regular moves, so 14 inches with the Raiders uh, and Ravager, 16 inch move. Regular move uh, from this Venom. Two Venoms have gone upstairs just to lay down some firepower. Can try and go after the Admech infantry. And, and then, uh, again, just regular 18-inch move with these two units of Reavers, uh, securing uh, an objective just tucked in there. And then over on the Drakari left-hand flank, we've pushed out of this Venom just to get in range of the infantry up in that direction. And then we advanced here with these Reavers to secure this objective on this flank. So Drakari have secured three objectives. If they continue to hold those, then they'll pick up uh, points at uh, one point each for those at the start of their second turn. So uh, this scenario, it is about destroying the enemy and also controlling these objectives which are spread all across the board. Movement is complete now. Uh, snow psychers for either side, so we'll immediately go on to the shooting phase. A chance for the Drakari uh, to see how well they can bring down some of these tougher targets. So we'll start with the lead Venom. Uh, I'm just about in uh, rapid fire range with the two uh, splinter cannons. So we're going to go into this closest unit of snipers just up the top here. Um, so it's going to be 12 shots with the double splinter cannons. So we can see them just about here, hidden behind those containers on top. Uh, so threes for hits. Uh, no kind of rerolls available here. So bang on average. And then fours to wound. Yes, yeah, so four wounds come through, uh, so Aaron will get four up. Armour saves. Save two. Save two. Okay, so two bodyguard rangers will die and will keep the snipers alive. Uh, then uh, the squad inside, the rifles, will fire some shots at the same squad. And then one blaster shot just within 18 inches to try and strike here against uh, the Valiant. So we'll fire at the Valiant here. Three plus. Hits. Fours for a wound. It does. AP minus four, so Aaron will take a four plus in one save for Iron Bulwark here. The Warlord trait is a three. So is he going to let that go? Or command reroll? Oh. It's going to be. He's going to let it go. D6 damage. Here it comes. Just two. I'll leave it. I'll not command reroll yet. We'll leave it at that. It's two points or two uh, wounds caused here on the Valiant. As uh, four rifle shots now going upstairs against uh, that squad, so threes for hits. Poison, force to win, two wins, uh, two saves of four plus. Seven balls. Six and four, well done. Okay, so uh, that's that complete. Not too bad here, that's the first of the firepower here. So we'll go for the razor wing. He is within six inches of the Archon, who's just tucked in there. Uh, so we'll fire Necrotoxin missiles into that damaged sniper team, and then two Dark Lance shots into the Valiant. So, Dark Lance, one hit, fours for a wound, does wound, four plus him on the save. Six. Six, well done, he's going to need decent rolls to, to block these D6 damage shots from coming through, but that one's been stopped. Uh, so there's two splinter rifle shots as well to come across, we'll fire the uh, Necrotoxin missiles, so it's three D3 shots, so uh, five shots, 
Three's to hit, re-rolling ones. And then it's going to be uh, twos to wound against infantry. And they've all wounded. No minus with these, so four up saves. And to make it through. Uh, two splinter rifle shots at him. Uh, Rerolling ones. This is the Archon helping out. No, all right, so the Razor Wing is finished. Uh, Void Raven Bomber next. Okay, so we'll do Shatterfield Missiles into that Lone Sniper just to pick him off. Uh, and then two Void Lancers into uh, the Knight Valiant. So, uh, D6 shots here with the Shatterfield Missiles. Three shots. Threes to hit the Sniper. Twos to wound. Yeah, two wounds to come through. Uh, it's AP minus one. So, five ups. Oh. Snake Eyes, okay, double one, so he is gone. Okay, Void Lance is here. These are strength nine. Uh, Rerolling ones for the Archon nearby. Two hits, threes to wound. Rerolling ones for the Archon's Relic. Two sixes, okay, so two Invon saves of four plus. Oh no, <laughs> six and four again. Well done, very, very well done. Okay, so one Void Raven finished. Uh, we'll go on to the next one, same again. We'll fire at the fresh squad of snipers uh, with the Shatterfield missile and two Void Lance shots. So Void Lance shots, first of all, into the Valiant. Six and four, we're getting our hits here, but this is crucial invun saves really helping out. Uh, no, two twos is failure to wound here. Okay, so then we'll go for D6 shots, the Shatterfield missile. Uh, we'll leave it at that. It's threes to hit, re-rolling ones, and then twos to wound. Re-rolling ones. Got a wound. AP minus one. And it's, the cock dice is fine. And it's a three. Okay, so one of the, the bodyguard picked off. Having more success against the infantry here, but uh, only two wounds. Two wounds yeah. 26 wounds left on the Valiant. Right, Ravager next. Let's see what we can do with this. We're going to put all three shots into the Valiant. So we'll re-roll this one. Two. Fours to wound. <gasps> Rerolling ones. And... Um... Guy, we're running out of lance shots here because it's disintegrated cans. Oh, come on, re-roll this one. Okay, there's two. Not too bad. So here it comes. Four plus invon saves again. Make them both. Six and five. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. I think Aaron's like liking the Imperial Knights here. Unbelievable. That's way, way, way above average here with those four plus in one saves. So uh, we're running out of options here. Our lance weapons are getting the hits and wounds, but uh, with decent in one saves, uh, the shots are bouncing off uh, of this Knight Valiant. Well, we've got disintegrated cannons. I'm going to put those into the Knight here. It will be fives to wound, but uh, it'll be damaged two if they make it through. So three shots from the first Raider. Getting the hits here. Uh, fives to wound and re-rolling ones. Mm, there's one. So it's minus three, so four plus in one save. Surely not. No, it's two. Okay. So I think Aaron will let that go through. He has a command re-roll available. But it's dropping down to 24 wounds now. And I'll fire the other. Re-rolling ones. And then fives to wound. Re-rolling ones. And another one. Four plus in one save. No. no, okay, another two. Have you any more D6 working? Uh, that is the last one, actually. Okay. Um, maybe command reroll that. So, well, it's the last one against him. I, I might be able to possibly get an 18th range. We'll just check here. We'll see what options the Trikari have left before Aaron potentially makes a command reroll here. Yeah, uh, Aaron's safe here. Just, we're just checking the range on these Venoms, the, uh, the crew inside with their blasters. They are just out of range of any of Aaron's vehicles. He's going to command reroll this one. So four plus. Nope. No, okay, it does go through. So Aaron drops to six command points left. The Drakari have eleven here at this stage. And now down to twenty-two wounds left. But the Knight Valiant's still in very, very good condition. Okay, so uh, this venom just up here, the witch is inside. I'm gonna try and pick on the snipers. Just six shots now, not in rapid fire range. Uh no rerolls available, so we're out of range of the Archon. And again, no rerolls available, it's just one. And it's not saved, okay. Still not enough to pick on or to get rid of any of the actual snipers here. We'll go to the next Venom. Threes, all hit. Fours, yeah, there's a bit of trouble now. There's four saves of four plus. 
Uh, do save three. Save three. Well done. So one picked off. Till still two snipers remain. So, uh, rifle shots now, splinter rifle shots from the crew inside. Uh, so, again, against the snipers, threes to hit. Falls to wound, one wound comes through. Another save of four plus, saved. And then crew from the other one. Uh, no, it switches inside there, uh, 12 inch range of their pistols. So, that's the two venoms and their crew, uh, their firepower complete. Okay, I've actually resolved the rest of the firepower. Uh, so, the venom firing through picked off one of the Rangers just here. Couldn't see the snipers, just line of sight uh, of these buildings blocking uh, line of sight from that vehicle. And then some splinter rifle shots from here and, and the crew inside trying to pick off wounds here. But in sixes with our poisoned weapons uh, to cause wounds. So that is it for the Drukhari. Uh, it's not our fault, it's your invon save. We did hit the target and we wounded you plenty of times, but it's that invon save here uh, on the Valiant has proved uh, most useful. So, uh, uh, that, there's a load of fours are rolled though. If that was a regular five plus, it may well have been a different story here. But uh, minimal damage caused against the Imperial Knights. No assaults, no charges to take place. Drakari have had their chance to cause damage and so far they've proved to be quite ineffective at range. We'll go on to the first turn. Coming up next for the Imperial Knights as they prepare to respond uh, against this Drakari firepower. Alright, so we're on turn one here for the Imperial Knights. Uh, whilst Aaron's moving, I'll just uh, cover. Cover. So, uh, craters, usual rules for that. Uh, then we're saying infantry units inside this top level here, uh, all the way around with this Admech terrain, they'll get plus one uh, to their armor save for cover uh, then there's a few other craters dotted around and the rest of the terrain uh, all of this stuff around here the containers as well we're just going to play and this building also just going to play as line of sight blocking uh, terrain here for this game all right so movement's complete here for the imperial knights uh, taking the fight to the drakari here so i reckon we're going to see a bit of a clash taking place uh, turn two and turn three and then maybe whoever emerges from the dust of this fight will be the victor so pushing forwards with the valiant still 22 wounds left so in a very healthy condition uh, and then just behind that is the paladin so electing not to advance Aaron wants to make use of as much firepower as possible uh, and those weapons there are heavy uh, most of them apart from the melters so Aaron wants to let off a volley uh, here whilst this thing's at full strength uh, but still with the bonuses here uh, it's a 3d6 choosing the best charge and then uh, with the bonus wall or trait from him, the Paladin, it's plus two to charges as well. So quite potent uh, with their reach here, this House Terran uh, detachment. And then Snipers holding position on Tech Priest, or Tech Priest Engine Seer, and the Infantry Squad going to hold that objective. Uh, the Knight Paladin is on another objective. Uh, then pushing through this gap here uh, with the uh, Knight Errant just here, pushing through, and again, some decent firepower available from that. Uh, and then come around the other side, uh, the uh, Helverins have moved around, the Warglaives have moved through to attack the Drakari on this flank. So both of them going 14 inches, they're nice and quick around the table. Uh, so able to shoot and potentially charge with them as well. The Knights could cause a fair bit of trouble here for the Drakari, with some decent firepower and some nasty assaults. But good to see the Knights going aggressive to meet here in the middle. It looks like it's going to be a fight for the middle ground and the victor can push through onto the enemy objectives. We'll go straight onto the shooting phase now for the Imperial Knights. So we're just going to start on this flank. It's the Armager Warglaive on uh, the extreme left. It's going to fire at this Venom just here. All of its firepower, so Melter and then also the Thermal Spear. So D3, D3 shots for that, yep. Two. Okay. Five and six, I think that's what you needed. Is that heavy weapon minus one to the hit rolls? Uh, no, it's an assault. Weapon. It is assault. Okay, so we're doing fours for hits with a minus one uh, to hit venoms. So, but two hits have come through. Threes to wound. He's pulling out all the dice rolls here. Double five. We'll try and uh, see if we our five plus in one saves work for us. <laughs> Double five. God, we're on fire here, both of us. God, boy. Okay, right. So, uh, melter gun on top. Yeah. One's a miss. Okay, so that's that. Uh, Orgly finished. It's the second one to fire next. The same, thing with the second one. same again. Okay, here it comes. D3. Yeah, two shots. No, because it's minus one to the hit rolls. Two threes. And finally a melter shot. 
That hits. We are bouncing off each other here with firepower. There comes the wound. Surely not. Surely yes. <laughs> it's a six spear old. Strange stuff going on here. Invan saves uh, reign supreme here in this game for both sides. It's like uh, it's like fate's pushing these two armies to fight in close combat. It's the only way to kill each other. Firepower's just bouncing off these shields from both sides, uh, and we're just being pushed closer and closer to resolve this in close combat. And it may well happen soon here. Both sides aren't holding back. It's been a steady advance from the Drakari, and the knights are certainly not holding back either. So there's not much of a gap left between the two armies. Uh, Aaron's going to elect to fire with something else. He's got three knights here. Plenty of resources for firepower available here. And a couple of snipers available also. Okay, sort of glad to see the Valiant uh, in, in good shape. It's a chance for it to uh, let off a volley here. So uh, weighing up whether to charge and make up the ground. We're saying if he does go in early, he might find himself isolated and then picked on here by Drakari units at close range. So Aaron's going to opt for the shooting option here against this target down here. So uh, the two sets of twin melters and the harpoon it's going to be fun to fire that it's going to go into the venom if you can hit the target and, and then shield breaker missile siege breaker cannon and the conflagration cannon going to go into this void raven bomber just here so right we'll, we'll do the uh, harpoon first just in case i kill him with melty because the harpoon <laughs> <laughs> here comes the fun shot with the harpoon that's the one <laughs> it's rolled a one. Oh no and um, Oh no, surely not a command reroll. No, <laughs> okay, you can pull the harpoon in, wind it up, ready to fire again next turn. Uh, it's quad melters or, or double melters, so it's four shots actually here. Uh, minus one to the hit rolls against the venom. Just the one hit comes through. Threes to wound. Okay, five up in one safe. No, and we'll leave it d6 damage. So four, respectable enough. Two wounds left. On the venom. Uh, hold it right there. Sixes to ignore damage. And there's a six. Okay, so actually three wounds left. That's the inert to suffering uh, is granted to vehicles uh, just for that carbon of the black heart. So. Conflagration the... Right, this is Traitor's Pyre, this one is called here. It's the relic version. So 3d6 hits against the flyer. Okay. Ten hits. Yeah. It's pretty impressive. Ten. Threes. Threes to wound, and it's all re rollable here. Now, not the popular choice, this configuration, the Valiant, but Aaron's just pulled out a whole load of wounds here. Wounds. Eight wounds. Uh, five plus invun saves. We've passed two. So that's going to be 12 damage. Um. We'll go for six pluses. We need a few here, otherwise this flyer's going to be brought down. We have got triple six, but nine wounds caused. Three wounds remain. That Void Raven Bomber's in a sorry state. So can Aaron finish it off is the question. He's declared a Siege Breaker Cannon and Shield Breaker Missile here. Okay. So we'll do the missile first. Fours. Nope, that's a three. It's a three, just the minus one to the hit rolls. Okay, and uh, 2d3 for the cannon. Yep. Uh, Four eight. shots. Eight. Two, hits. Two hits. This could be enough. Threes to wound. One wound. One wound makes it through. And minus one on that, I think. Yeah, it is, yeah. uh, it's five plus regardless. Here it comes. Five plus. No. Um, do I come on reroll at this stage? To try and keep that flyer alive for now at least. Um, no, we'll leave it. Okay, Let's hope Aaron doesn't roll a five or a six. Roll a five. Six is required to keep this thing alive. No, flyer destroyed. Ah, Void Raven's gone. Doesn't explode, but we've lost one of our flyers. Good shooting here from the Knight Valiant. Oh, she's blown a hole in the army here. Good result. One of the Void Raven bombers is gone. And still, two knights remain. The Paladin here at the back with the Relic uh, repeated battle can, and then also uh, rerolling ones for his shooting with this knight here as well. Right, so Aaron's going to fire this knight here. Uh, he's going to fire the Storm Spear rocket pod and also the thermal cannon into this Void Raven bomber just here, and then the heavy stub is going to go into the venom. So D6 shots here with the thermal cannon. This is quite an important roll here. Uh, it's, it's a two. Okay, so two shots. 
just plain hole facing for dice here so and yes it is minus one to hit roll so well done yeah two hits come through and one wound makes it through i think i might i haven't used a cp yet no, no. okay i'll re-roll that yep. two okay two five pluses we have blocked one uh so d6 damage are you in range 18 I reckon, oh, Miles is in 18, so you're going to get to, uh, it's 2d6 choosing the best. Okay. Five, five, we'll take the five, and then we'll try and block these on sixes. There's a six, all right, four wins taken. Okay, a bit late, but I've just remembered, lightning fast reactions, I've played it on here, so uh, there's another further minus one to the hit rolls, as Aaron uh, elects to fire the next weapon. Storm Spear. Storm Spear, Rocket Pod. One hit. Uh, are you rolling once? So yeah, just for your... Yep. Uh, ability here, nope, and then threes to wound. Oh, he's got it, okay, and then we'll go for our five plus invon save. This is quite an important roll, no. Damage is. That's just a one. And a six to ignore. Oh. We do ignore it on a six. Alright, okay, so heavy stubber shots now into this venom down here. Minus one to the hit rolls. Uh, two hits, three rolling ones. Yep. And fives to wound. Yep. Yeah, okay, so that's that night resolved. Uh, just the Paladin left, and the Snipers. Okay, so the Knight Paladin is going to fire the Relic Rapid Fire Battle Cannon. Going to go after the Ravagers. No minus to hit rolls against that. This one's on minus two. This one's on minus one. Uh, so it's probably wise to go after the Firepower and try and destroy this vehicle. And then the two Heavy Stubber shots, or two Heavy Stubbers are going to go into here to try and pick off some wounds on this Venom. So we'll do the Heavy Stubbers first. So yeah, Heavy Stubber shots first. Um, Needing fours. Nice, five hits. And then fives to wound. Just a one. Okay. Uh, no minus hit, so we'll just go for save four plus. Yep, so passed. 3d6 choosing, uh, or discarding the lowest result here for the rapid fire battle cannon. Aaron, discard the one and keep the two fours. Eight shots, need threes. Okay, wow. Seven hits. And then threes to wound. Okay. So five have come through. That's actually a really good result. Uh, so we'll take our 5 plus Invon save. Just past the 1. 4d3 damage. Okay, 3, uh, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9. Very good result. 6 is to ignore. We've been to suffering. We've blocked just the 1, but 8 wounds caused, and now this Ravager is in a sorry state with just 2 wounds remaining. Yeah, so 2 wounds left here. Aaron's going to try and finish it off with the 2 snipers. So, threes to hit with these two guys on top here. Two Got hits. the hit, six and five. Threes to wound the strength seven. Ah, oh, is no one and two being rolled. Uh, so, just as needed them, the snipers. Uh, used to picking on characters here, but they've been used against vehicles. Uh, but the wounds haven't come through. I'm just looking around for any more firepower. I think that's pretty much it. They've, we'll check the range of this infantry squad, and if they've got any line of sight, they might be able to see across in this direction, but it doesn't look like they've got a target. Their main job is just to hold the objectives there at the back. Yeah, out of range or out of line of sight. So that is the shooting phase finished. Any charges? Going to go for it? Or? Uh, yes, our um, war glaives are going to... War glaives are going to charge. Right, we might see some close combat action over on this flank. Uh, we'll resolve our charges and overwatch next. Right, so charges have taken place here. I, I think this is how House Terran is meant to be used on the aggressive, firing as they go, charging in here. Now, the charge is 3d6 discard the lowest, plus 2 for the bonus that comes from him. So, uh, Aaron rolled up a 12 in total uh, with the Knight Valiant. So, in it goes, plunging in against the Venom. Uh, and then across here, a little bit of Overwatch damage coming through against this Hell Variant. It's down to nine wounds left, but it has made into contact uh, against these Reavers. And then over by uh, the abandoned Land Raider, uh, the other unit of Reavers has been contacted also. So multiple combats available here. And this is only turn one of the game. So Imperial Knights are getting stuck in. They're certainly not afraid of the Drakari and happy to take the fight to them up close and personal. We're going to combat resolution next. Right, so Aaron's going to start here. Four attacks. It's going to use the damage three option against these bikers. Need threes. Oh, it's just the one hit comes through. Reaver's not going to be eliminated. And it's a one roll to the dice of departed Aaron now. Oh dear, so it's starting to it'll average out now after a while uh, with some 
Oh, it's a shame, but uh, no damage coming through there. So we can go straight on to... I'm not going to interrupt play anywhere, so uh, straight on with these attacks. Going for the high-powered option. Three hits this time. And two wounds come through. Come on, reroll, maybe. Um, yes, I will. Just yeah, just try and get the wipeout here. Yep. Yes, okay. What's the minus on that one? It is minus three. Minus three. Going straight through the armour. Uh, so we'll go for our uh, rolls of sixes to ignore damage. So first model, they're going to need double six here. Roll them in blocks of three, because it's damage three each time. And the last one, no, got the wipeout. Well done. So unit of Reavers has been hacked down. All right, so that's that combat resolved. Uh, well done. Another unit wiped out. And now across here, the Knight Valiant to fight against the Venom. Okay, so Flickerfield is only for the shooting phase, so Aaron is on his usual hit rolls. It's actually a four plus with the Valiant. Feet. Using the feet here. Looking for fours. It's not bad, just below average. Okay. No, it's bang on average actually. And threes to wound. Okay, that's five. Yeah, that's good. It's a good result. Uh, I'm going to check. Do I get an invon save here? Uh, we'll just double check. No, we do not. It's only against ranged weapons. AP minus on the feet, minus two. So we'll get six up saves. Which we get a double six, typical. Uh, D3. Yep. Three D3 damage. Ah, uh, two sixes and a three. Eight. Six pluses. We do get another chance to try and block here. Sixes. There's two sixes. Nowhere near enough. Venom destroyed. And we do not explode. Alright, so we'll disembark with the crew. Two, three models slain. Ouch, okay. Right, okay. Good result here. Drakari uh, taking some heavy damage here at this stage. Uh, we'll disembark, remove the model from play, disembark with the two survivors. All right, so uh, I've disembarked here. Uh, I've since resolved morale, uh, which we fouled by one. So it's just the lone Carbolite Warrior here with the blaster still alive. Venom removed, and then I've just resolved the combat over in that corner as well. We caused one wound with our Blade Vein Strength 4 AP-1. It's caused a wound uh, against the Armagut Warglaive. Okay, so turn's finished here, and I would say the Imperial Knights have inflicted a lot more damage here, uh, way more damage actually, against the uh, Drakari. We've lost one of our flyers. A Venom's been destroyed. Unit Reavers has been destroyed. Uh, damage taken on here, and very heavy damage on the Ravager. So Drakari cruising along in the league at the moment here. They've uh, defeated a number of armies, but surely not. The Imperial Knights could halt their progress here in this fight. It's very early stages here, but it's been a good exchange between both sides. And at the moment, the Imperial Knights prevail. End of turn one. Uh, so now, turn two onwards, at the start of your turn, uh, you'll gain a number of victory points for objectives being held. So for the Drakari, uh, they do hold this objective here. Uh, despite the loss of one of the units of Reavers, they still hold this objective across here. And again, uh, despite the Warglaive charging in, we still hold that objective also. So three points will be picked up at the start of the turn. We'll go on to turn two now as the Drakari are uh, determined to press on their raid. We've got to do something about these Imperial Knights. They're still looking very strong with them on the ball. Turn two next, the Dark Kin.
so movement here on turn two for the Drakari uh, is happy enough to get in amongst the Imperial Knights here. Uh, Aaron just saying six objectives on the board and the Imperial Knights will be quite stretched here. Not too many models uh, available for them. More of these walking fortresses here which boasts a lot of firepower but model count is quite low here. Drakari reacting to uh, the Valiant, I think we're going to go after that. We're pretty much going to ignore these two knights, just concede the fact we can't go after everything, but we're going to try and take on the Valiant with pretty much most of what we have here. Uh, forcing the Drakari to disembark quite early on. Usually we try and keep them inside their transports. Uh, we've disembarked here with a number uh, of their units, and then we're going to try and deal with the two Warglaives on this flank also, just to try and clear that area as much as possible. So the Ravagers crept forward, it's just six inches here. One of the Lemayans disembarked and has just tucked around here. It's not a character, so we've just got to hide it for now. The other one disembarked in advance and is heading off in this direction. Then uh, we disembarked with the Incubi, 7 inches, uh, plus 3 for disembarking, it's 10, we've made it to there. Drazar, Master of Blades, has disembarked as well, poised and ready to charge. The Archon, the Warlord's just tucked in there also. Then uh, aware of potential Overwatch that could come through, we've pushed forwards with the two Raiders. They may well have to go in first to try and absorb the Overwatch that could come from that Traitor's Pyre uh, Conflagration Cannon. Uh, then uh, two Venoms pushing forward, swarming onto this objective here. We control this objective also. Uh, then Razor Wings gone on top, pushing forwards. The Void Raven Bomber flew over the top and dropped its mine, uh, destroying two of the Rangers uh, from that squad. Uh, then over on this flank, disembarking with the Witches, three inches, eight inches. This unit has plus two moves, another two inches on top of that. This squad's moved through here. Uh, Going to try and swarm this vehicle. Uh, and then there's also the succubus just tucked in there, uh, poised to charge in with her relic uh, blade for her, the blood glaive, uh, available for her in close combat. And a 3 plus in one save uh, as well. Then over on the extreme flank, uh, pulling out a close combat here, ready to shoot, moving across to the other unit, Reavers, which will be able to charge and shoot, and the Venoms uh, moved in nice and close, again trying to take control of this objective, uh, to try and take on uh, the Warglaives on this flank. So the game is broken down into two battles going on, there's a fight now between these two Warglaives and the Drakari forces on this flank. Uh, and then perhaps the main battle uh, across here against the Valiant and the other Knights and the main Drakari force. We'll go on to shooting phase now. Drakari have gotten close. So plenty of blast pistols available now uh, spread out across multiple units. We'll go on to firepower for the Drakari next. Okay, so I'm going to start with a haywire grenade. I usually forget this one. So I'm going to throw it from one of the regular models. Uh, so three plus to hit the Warglaive just here. We get the hit and it's D3 mortal wounds. Two mortal wounds caused. So just knocking down the wounds on that thing, uh, just that. All right, next, uh, there's blast pistols available here. Blast pistol from the succubus, first of all. Uh, need a two plus. Yep, threes to wound. Wound comes through, minus four. So five plus invon save required here. Yep. No, damage is D6. Ooh, command. Ah, oh, no, we'll leave it. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, no, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. I get to sense we're going to need it somewhere else. Uh, blast pistol uh, from this squad and the rest firing their splinter pistols. Doubt they're going to cause much damage. Uh, so, uh, three's a hit. Another wound. Five plus in one save. Yep. Got that one. Well done. Uh, I think he's equipped with plasma grenades. We'll chuck a plasma grenade uh, and then pistol uh, with the rest. So, plasma grenade. Just the one shot. Hits and does wound, and it's AP minus one. Saved on a six. Uh, and then that leaves uh, three pistol shots here. I rolled two dice and rolled another one. Two hits, sixes for wounds. There's a wound. And all three up armor save. Passed. Okay. So now the squad to the left. Uh, we'll go for that again. So a blast pistol, a plasma grenade, and then splinter pistols. So blast pistol. Misses, and that's it. Uh, the reroll ones come from the suck was just in the fight phase. Uh, plasma grenade, two shots, one hit, no wound, uh, and then pistol shots. And there's another wound comes through. Three up armor save. Pass that one. Okay, it's down to six wounds left on the Warglaive. Still very much alive. Let's see if we can potentially try and finish it off in close combat uh, with the witches.
So 11 wounds to try and get on this one here. The unit of reavers that pull back, they can still shoot because they fly. Uh, it's a cocked dice, I rolled it again. It's a five. Uh, so were they looking for threes to wound? No. Uh, this, oh, it's uh, some rifles to fire, rapid fire. Nothing. And then we'll repeat the same with this other reaver squad. So the blaster hits, wounds, five up in one save. No. Yeah, so uh, damage three caused, so down to eight wounds left. Uh, there, their rifle shots. Sixes to wound, poison weaponry, not really good against vehicles, that's that finished. Uh, then inside here, uh, a blaster and then the rifle shots are going to that as well. So one blaster coming from the Carbolite Warrior, just about hits and does wound strength eight coming through. No invun save and just the one cause. Do we come on reroll that? Um, no, I'll save the Kamari roll. Uh, for that Knight Valiant over the other side there. So we'll leave it. Just one more wound comes through. Uh, and then rifle shots from the squad inside. Uh, it will be eight shots in total. I'll reroll one of these dice. I'm just a dice short here. Reroll that one. And then we're looking for sixes to win. Triple six. And one wound's managed to get through. Okay. So down to uh, seven wounds left. Yeah, so the Venom that's over there, it's going to fire all the way across so you can see uh, the infantry squad just uh, behind the building there. So six shots. Fours to wound. Yeah, three, three saves. No minus here, so three saves. Uh, one killed. Okay, so one more infantryman gone. And we'll just remove that one from play. Okay, so that's the fire fight across there against the Warglaives. Chipping off some wounds, uh, both of those targets. Uh, it's still pretty good shape. Uh, this is what I'm saving the command reroll for across here. So I'll commence firing uh, with these units here. So I'll go for this Archon. Blast pistol. Twos for a hit. Fours for a wound. Yes, the wound comes through. Four plus invun save. Here we go again. And it's a five. Another D6 worth of damage blocked uh, just there. Then the other Archon's just tucked in here, the Warlord. We'll fire him at the same target, re-rolling ones. Just about hits. Fours for a wound. We're doing we're doing all that we can here. Uh, it's a cock dice here. We'll let Aaron re-roll it here. Yep. That's a two. Okay, so it does go through. So if I get a one here, I'm going to re-roll this. Oh, I've got a one. <laughs> Come on, re-roll. There's another one. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh dear. Okay, so down to seven command points left for us. Aaron still has six. It's the lone infantryman uh, that escaped from the destroyed Venom. Straight into this. Nina three. Gets his hit. Gets his wound. Four plus in one save once again. And Aaron's rolled a four. I've got to get through at some point here. Okay, so the Venom's down here. They've got no line of sight with their splinter cans. So we're going to have to put the shots into here. Just going to try and get sixes to pick off wounds. Uh, but we'll go with the... Uh, so which squad is the closest? So blast pistol. Uh, and then we'll throw a plasma grenade and then pistols as well uh, from that squad. So blast pistol. Hits. Doesn't wound. Strength eight. Toughness eight. Uh, plasma grenades. Five shots. They will hit. Six is to wound. No, because it's strength four, toughness eight. Uh, so that's a failure. Then uh, some pistols. No Euron's available because it's uh, the unit inside firing here. Do get a wound though, uh, and a regular three plus armor save. Rolls, <laughs> rolls a two. Okay, down to 21. Uh, 20 because of the previous wound from the blaster. Ah, uh, right, yes. Okay, thank you. It's down to 20. So a long way to go here. 20 wounds. Uh, the next one, we'll re repeat exactly the same uh, with the squad inside the other Venom. Uh, so, but this is a carb carb light infantry, actually, so it's going to be rapid fire uh, with the rifles. No rerolls available here. Sixes. There's another one. Three up arms, so pass that one. Uh, a blaster. Misses. We're not getting the damage here, and then we'll go for the two Venoms rapid firing in with their uh, splinter cannons. 
just hunting for sixes here. We're on reroll ones now. Uh, no, the Archon's too far away. But still, it's very accurate here. And then sixes. Yeah, there it is. Triple six. Three up armor saves. Another one gets through. Down to 19. Every wound counts here. And then the other Venom will do exactly the same. So that one's too far away as well for any kind of rerolls. Six is to wound. Zero. Okay, so we've resolved all of the infantry on foot, the two Venoms and their occupants, and this lone infantryman just here. We've still got a Ravager to go and the two empty Raiders. So we're going to fire the razor wing next. It's going to put the two dark lances into here, and they're going to fire necrotoxin missiles. We're going to try and pick off those two snipers. So three d three shots. So that's seven shots needing threes. Mm -hmm. No rerolls available. Two's to win though, and can't reroll that one. Okay, so two wins. No minus at all. Two fours. Well done. Okay, and then dark lances now into him. Two hits. Oh, oh snake eyes. Oh boy, right, okay. Void Raven Bomber. Uh, splinter rifles actually. Uh, shots going into the infantry just there. They've all hit. It's rapid fire. Uh, two wounds come through. And two saves. Six and four again. Well done, the armor holds. So we'll do two Void Lances next. Again, it's going to go into here. And, and then the Shatterfield missile is going to go against that sniper team. So, Shatterfield, D6 shots, just the one. And a one again. Some crazy dice rolls here in this game. Two Void Lances now in against this. One hit. Threes for a wound. Oh, thankfully it goes through. Four plus Invon save. It's a one. Is there? I'm going to use his command reroll at this point. It's d6 damage if it makes it through. Yeah. Okay. 50 50 chance. Yep. This whole face and it's a six. Well done. Another, <laughs> another d6 damage blocked. It could have gone the other way. I mean, in turn, why that could have been destroyed. It's been crazy results here. So, disintegrator cannon. I'm going to have to uh, fire across here to try and take out these snipers. So. Uh, we are now on reroll ones because we're in range. So two hits come through, two wounds come through, two six plus invon saves. Otherwise these snipers are gone, and no, they've been wiped out. So disintegrator cannon's done its job. Sniper team removed. Uh, disintegrator cannon from here. Might as well go into him. Threes, they've all hit. Fives, one wound comes through, minus three, so four plus in one save. And so six has been rolled, well done again. And then now the Ravager. Uh, fives to hit here. Do get reroll ones. Aye, just the one makes it through. And no wound. Oh boy, oh boy. 19 wounds left on the Valiant, and it refuses to die. Okay, so I think that shooting phase resolved here, and again, it's been frustrating for the Drakari. They're still causing some damage, but nowhere near as much as they planned for. So it may well have to be close combat where this battle is resolved. So we're poised to charge in here. We've got to choose carefully which order to go in. Uh, there is a heap of Overwatch, a ton of Overwatch, that could destroy one target after the next. So we'll line that up. Uh, I think we have to go. We can't sit there and leave this thing alone. Uh, the Drakari are going to get sucked in to an attempted close combat against this Knight Valiant. Uh, and then across here, we're going to try and take on these two Armager Warglaves. We're going to charge as an Overwatch next for the Drakari as the battle heats up here on turn two. All right, so charges have taken place. I'm wondering if the Drakari have been sucked into close combat here. There is a stratagem that Aaron can use. Uh, if he is brought down, he can detonate here uh, on four pluses and dish out a load of mortal wounds. That may well be a backup plan for this Knight Valiant. It has given a good account of itself in this game and it still has 19 wounds left. We'll see if the Drakari can bring it down in close combat. The other thing to bear in mind, Aaron could interrupt play. We can attack here with one of our units and then he may well decide to interrupt play somewhere across the board 
as well. So desperate fight taking place now. Drakari have charged him pretty much everything. You can see that one of the raiders is missing. That was gunned down in Overwatch. Uh, the conflagration cannon doing most of the damage and then finished off with some of the other weaponry coming through. So that was destroyed. didn't explode. One raider has been eliminated. This one charged in next. Down to six wounds left. Uh, made it in. That then opened the floodgates for the rest of the Drakari units to charge in. The two Venoms have gone in here. Both Archons, Drazar Master of Blades and so to have uh, the Incubi squad as well. The idea is that if we can knock down the damage bracket on him uh, and get it down to just a four inch move, he's not going to be able to escape and we'll keep this model uh, locked down in close combat. That's the plan uh, for this fight. The danger for the Jukari is whatever happens, there's two fresh Imperial Knights available uh, as backup here for the Imperial Knights. This game's far from over here and far from a conclusion as well. Cross here, charges did go ahead successfully, two Reavers and the Venom have gone in against this Warglaive and then across here, both Witch squads and the Succubus have charged in uh, against the other. I, apart from my two Flyers, this Ravager and a lone carb like warrior, everything else is in close combat here for the Drukari. We'll go on to combat resolution next. Uh, and just to mention, I have been using Labyrinth Cunning. Uh, that's the Warlord trait for the Warlord here. And I have been harvesting command points back. So I've managed to pick up two so far. One last turn and one uh, this battle round as well. Going to play Onslaught for a command point that's been spent. Uh, so any sixes to hit. Going to fight with the Incubi. Any sixes to hit generates two hits instead of one. This is the unit that I think can do the most damage. So going to try and fight with them first before Aaron potentially interrupts play. He's got four command points left. So some choices to make as to which options to go for here. Uh, there's a variety of cards that he could use, but uh, we're going to fight here. Dual blades on the Clavex, like so. Three attacks each with the others. Sixes will pop uh, an extra hit, and then it's plus one to the wound rolls for Drazar, Master of Blades, just nearby. So, Clavex. It's threes to hit at this stage. We're not on the bonus uh, yet for Power from Pain. <sighs> cool. Now, that's pretty pretty good. That's actually generated an extra two hits. That's eight hits have come through from the Clavex. Okay, so eight hits come through. Do him first of all. Uh, now, it's going to be fives to wound. He's fighting at strength three. So it's going to be sixes to wound. Plus one to wound. Five pluses uh, to wound. Unmodified sixes is... Uh, an extra two to the damage. <gasps> oh boy. Okay, we have a result here from this Clavex. So these two coming through are at AP minus two and one damage. Okay. So nice. Aaron can roll up. Yeah. Make one feel one. Okay, so one wound caused. And then these are at AP minus two and I think there'll be three damage each. These are the nasty ones. Fives here. Make two. Oh, double five. Well done. Okay. We'll just take the damage. I'm pretty sure it's uh, it's plus two to the damage roll. Uh, yeah, so it is damage three. So good start there from the Clavex. Fifteen wounds remain now. It's AP minus two because we went for the dual blades. So now that's encouraged uh, the other Incubi here. Threes. Okay. So those have failed. But the sixes with Onslaught have made up for some of the losses there. So that's the hits that have come through. Now we'll go for uh, fives to wound. Aye, not so good. Not so good. Okay, so this is AP minus three now. This is with the regular uh, glaives here. So six plus required. This is one damage. Nope, so one wound cause, and then minus three here as well. Six up required, this will be three damage. Yep. No, right, so another four damage being caused, down to 11. So, uh, happy enough with the damage coming through. Not too bad, uh, but still, the Knight Valiant remains alive. We'll let Aaron make his choice if he wants to interrupt play at this point, or not. All right, so two command points are being spent. Aaron singled out Drazar, Master of Blades here. Uh, so down to 11 wounds, is that going to impact your weapon skill? Uh, fives, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be fives. And you're going to try and stomp all over him with feet? I am okay, here it comes. Oh, Drazar, Master of Blades could be in trouble. All depends what Aaron rolls to hit here. Yeah. Uh, 
just the four. Just four come through. Right, okay. And two's to wound. All wounded. They've all wounded, okay. And the AP minus, it's minus two. So actually, yeah, Drizar comes with a two up armor to save. So we're gonna take four up armor to save set. Um. <laughs> no, um. I've got to try and keep this guy alive. I'm going to pay a command point to reroll this one. Five. Right, we block that one. 3d3 damage. This is getting kind of tense here. Okay, that is uh, five. Five wounds caused. Okay, that command reroll may well have saved Drizar here. So five wounds caused. We do get six plus. Feel no pain. And we've blocked two. So three wounds taken. Drizar has six wounds. So he's half dead. Three wounds remain. So that's it, combat resolved. Uh, there was a great opportunity to bring Drizar down, but he's uh, survived here. Uh, so he's half slain, but he's managed to avoid the stomping feet uh, from the Knight Valiant. Aaron's kept two command points available. Uh, he may well go for the stratagem that allows you to explode on four pluses if it all goes wrong here. We'll fight with Drizar. We can pick and choose where we want to fight now, uh, but we'll continue fighting. So Drizar going to do the four attacks. Uh, not go for the dual blades option, but for the regular... Uh, option here, so twos to hit, and then it'll be uh, strength five, fives to wound, and then plus one to the wound rolls. Fours, yeah, two wounds to come through, uh, AP minus three, and it'll be two damage. Okay, so that's four damage being caused, so down to seven wounds left on the Knight Valiant, and we could choose just to fight again because we charged. Uh, no, the stratagem's not been used on him. That's fine. And then force to wind. Right, okay. So we're looking at this one. Uh, Four damage? Yes. So a uh, six required on that one. Nope. No. Four damage comes through. Three wounds left on him. And this one, uh, a six up. Nope. No. One wound left on the Night Valiant. Incubate and Drizar working together have stripped off a ton of wounds from this thing. One wound remains. Okay, so we'll continue fighting here. Uh, we're after the elusive one wound uh, to try and score against this Knight Valiant. And what I have left uh, it's, it isn't that great here. We'll, we'll see. We'll go for the Warlord now, fighting. Five attacks with him. Uh, Rerolling ones. They've all hit. Six is to wound of a poisoned weapon against Titanic. No, failed. We'll fight with the other Archon. They've all hit. Six is to wound. There is a six. It's AP minus two. Five up. Uh -huh. <gasps> it's a four. Hanging on the edge of the ball. No. One damage. And anything you can do about it? Come on, we roll. Nope. Used up. He's gone. So are you going to play the Kaboom stratagem? Yeah. What's the name of the What's it called? A noble sacrifice. A noble sacrifice here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So here it comes. So what's required here is... Uh, four plus on either dice. Four pluses on two dice. Got one. Got one. Yep. Now we're going to see trouble. Okay, so the Knight of Valiant uh, has nobly sacrificed himself and detonated in amongst all of my Drakari units. What drama we have here in this fight. Uh, here, the Drakari have been lured in uh, to a ticking time bomb here. Uh, what we'll do is we'll resolve the damage. Uh, it's going to cause some trouble here for these Drakari units uh, as this knight goes down. All right, so uh, the destroyed model's gone. We've worked out the damage. Drazar uh, took a blast here and has been destroyed because of the wounds that he already had. Uh, Aaron rolled well. Uh, we're using our nerd to suffering. It blocked some wounds from coming through, but Drazar is gone. The Warlord's taken two wounds. Took four, but rolled two sixes uh, for him. It's two wounds taken there. Drakari lost three, three of them. Three wounds knocked off of this one. Uh, three wounds off of this one. Two wounds off of this Venom, and the second in command took four wounds as well. So it's heavy damage being caused against the Drakari. And now all of a sudden, these Drakari units are looking quite vulnerable here uh, with these two Imperial Knights potentially it could bear down upon them. Drakari need to have success on this flank. We'll see if we can bring down these Armager uh, Warglaves. Okay, so we'll fight the Succubus first of all. Four attacks, plus one for her combat drugs. Twos to hit, and rerolling once. Uh, it's the Blood Glaive, it's the Relic, so no, no minus to the hit rolls, and we're fighting at strength six. Uh, so fives for wounds. That's just the one comes through. Minus three, so. 
Oh. Okay, and then D3 damage. Just the one wound caused, down to five. Uh, so we'll move on to these other witches next. Yeah, so witch squads next. Uh, so the one on the right-hand side. Uh, so the one with the shard net and impaler. Two's to hit. This squad's on plus one weapon skill. So it comes through. And six is to wound. Nothing. Uh, then the hecatrix. Uh, three attacks. Uh, this is with the agonizer. Two sixes, that wounds. Uh, AP minus two. So five pluses. No, two more wounds caused. That's three wounds left. And then regular, which is attacking here. Uh, so they have their uh, blades. So it's three attacks each. Just might be able to just gradually knock off the wounds here. No reroll ones required. And no wounds coming through. Strength three, toughness seven here. So. That's that squad done. The next squad's configured the same. So the Hecatrix, uh, just the one hit. Uh, it does wound, and it's minus two. Okay. Saved on six. Okay, uh, and then regular witches. Three to hit, rerolling once for the succubus nearby. Six is to wound. Nothing, and then the shard net and impaler. Get an extra attack for that. Uh, just the one hit comes through. Does wound. It's AP minus one. It'll be two damage. Makes it, Makes it on a five. Yeah, well done. Okay, so that's all of our attacks there. Still three wounds remain on this armiga, but it looks like it's locked in. It can't step over units, this one here. It's not a titanic unit, so it looks like it's stuck in close combat here uh, against the witches. And then now a fight here uh, with uh, the reavers and then also the venom. So yeah, just a correction here, these can't charge, I, I pulled them out of close combat, uh, so they're able to shoot, but they can't charge back in again, so it's just one unit of Reavers here, uh, so that's going to be these attacks here, in threes, and it's going to be fives to wound, it's strength four with the blade veins, and it's just the one wound, AP minus one. Saved, and then just the Venom. Uh, three hits, and they wound, no minus, and save, that's it, that's all the damage we could do, so both Armagers very much alive, and Aaron can choose how he, how he wants to fight back with both of those. Going to go after the Reavers, okay, going to fight across here first of all, so the high powered attacks, need fours, or threes, with toughness five, but it's going to be two wounds coming through. And the damage is straight three, isn't it? I think on that one. Yep, that's correct. And the minus it goes, it's going to go straight through. Yeah, minus three. Minus three as well. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to roll to try and keep these uh, biker models alive. Sixes. No. Sixes again. No. All right. So two bikers gone. Okay. So uh, this Armiga Warglaive here, eight attacks. The number of attacks not affected by the damage bracket, but will be fives to hit here. So two squads of witches. The back squad there, yeah, just going to try and clear them out of the way here. So needing fives. This one does seem to be in trouble here, locked in, trying to uh, fight two here. Two wounds come through. Four plus dodge. Dodged with one, but one of them's been hit in the face by uh, the chain cleaver here, so that one can go. Yeah, so uh, that's it. Combat's resolved. Bit of morale to resolve here. I don't think any models are going to go. Uh, I think we're looking at an auto pass here and here, so we'll take those away. Warglaves continue fighting on. Just the ink could be perhaps uh, might need uh, to check here for morale. Yeah, so morale's good here. Aaron also had to check around the other side with his infantry. They've passed no problem at all. So morale's good uh, for both sides. And the turn is finished for the Drakari. Uh, they're not cruising through this game, that's for sure. They've managed to bring the Valiant down, but uh, Aaron still has resources available in the form of these two knights. They could cause havoc here, both with their firepower uh, and in close combat as well. And if he can cause trouble in amongst this core of Dark Elder units, then they don't have too much left on the board after that. And across here, uh, the Warglaves are holding their own here. They're still both alive. Drakari gradually chipping away against them. We'll go on to the second turn now for the Imperial Knights coming up next. Alright, so Aaron on the move here, just uh, lining up ready to shoot and charge in. 
Uh, points picked up then uh, Imperial Knights control on this objective and the objective just around the corner across the other side as well. So two points picked up there. Drakari got three points last turn. So I, I never got first strike though. No. I didn't destroy a unit. No. Uh, Aaron did. So the score is quite even at this stage and Imperial Knights have a chance here uh, to try and hurt the Drakari at this point. Yeah, no correction, I did. I wiped out a sniper unit on turn one, uh, so uh, Tricari are marginally ahead at this stage. This is the, the game changer around this part here. If these two knights can stay in healthy condition and cause big trouble for the Tricari, uh, then the knights may well be able to find themselves ahead in this fight. Okay, so movement is complete here. Uh, so with this knight, Aaron spun it around and moved across, but still keeping within range of this objective that's just tucked around here. Uh, Tech Priest Engines here, the character's moved across as well. Uh, then this knight, Aaron's pushed through as well. There is an objective, remember, just here, so it's worth going after that. And then the objective around the other side is being held by the four remaining rangers and also one of the Tech Priest Engines here. As well, the danger is, is Drakari can break up into little bits and then go after Aaron's characters, start hunting them down and removing them from objectives. So one of the weaknesses here for the Imperial Knights uh, is the number of models on the board uh, here for them. And Drakari may well prove quite elusive to hunt down the last of the models that they have. But still, I mean, if they perform well with the Knights here and then drive and sweep the Drakari away. The Imperial Knights may well win the day here, we'll see. Uh, locked in close combat here with this Warglaive and electing to remain in close combat here. May as well fight away uh, against those Drakari units uh, on that objective as well. Movement's done, quite straightforward here. We're going to shooting phase next. All right, so uh, shooting phase, we have started off with this squad around here. Uh, firing their arc rifles and galvanic rifles, managed to strip off four wounds. Uh, from that void raven bomber there so great results coming through with that uh, so fort wounds remain so firepower has been declared here uh, the thermal cannon is going to try and finish off the ravager just two wounds to pick off uh, just there and the storm spear rocket pod on top is going to try and take out this venom uh, just down here and the heavy stubber is going to try and pick on the inkaby so here it comes so we'll do the heavy stubber first okay it's just going into the inkaby here two hits, two hits. Two wounds. Two wounds, yeah. Uh, saves a three plus. Past both. Okay. Uh, Storm Spear. Yeah, three shots. Uh, fours to hit here. Two hits. Threes to wound. Two wounds. Two wounds, yeah. Five plus in one saves. Save one. Uh, it's going to be d6 damage. Four or more will be good. It's two. Command points are all burnt up here. Yeah, so uh, sixes. No, just two wounds left. Aaron may well be able to, or should easily be able to destroy this thing in close combat. Uh, and then, uh, here. D6. D6 shots to the thermal cannon. Four. Four. Need threes. Should destroy the Ravager here. Three hits. Threes to wound. Three yeah, they've all wounded, well done. Five plus in one saves. We've blocked one, 2d6 damage. Five wounds caused. Quite tight at the end, but no, you've done it. Well done. So, uh, Ravager destroyed, and it doesn't explode, but that model can be removed from play. And that's denied me the point as as well there. We now no longer hold the objective. There is a Lemayan uh, just here, but it's too far away. Okay, so uh, two stubbers going into the Inkaby uh, from the Paladin, and then the Rapid Fire Battle Cannon is going into the uh, Void Raven Bomber to try and finish that off. So we'll do the uh, stubborn first. Yep. Just two inkaby to try and kill here. Yeah? Three to hit. Four hits. Uh, just three wins. Three wins. Foul one, six to stay alive. No. Okay, so just the clavex left. Okay, so uh, canticles, by the way, re-rolling ones in the fight phase. And then the other one was the, you have to be within an inch, trying to cause more to wounds or sixes. That's not made any impact here uh, this turn. But re-roll ones in close combat may well prove uh, useful. So uh, the Relic Repeater Battle Cannon, 3d6 choosing uh, the best two dice. 11 shots. That is brilliant. 3d6 eliminating the worst dice is excellent. A 6, a 5 and a 2 being rolled. So Aaron will get 11 shots, needing 4s against this flyer. Okay. 
just the oh no it's five yes yeah, five hits come through threes to wound strength nine toughness six no oh, no just the two uh, so we might be able to stay alive here five plus in von saves no uh d3 oh come on reroll this no 2d3 damage i'll just take that away uh, six plus. I'll just. Oh no, I've already used that up this turn. Uh, for this battle round, so I don't get a chance to harvest any more command points. Four wounds caused. Right. One six required to keep the flyer in the sky. No, it's gone. Do we detonate? No. All right. So the model can be removed from play. Drakari units here dropping like flyers. Imperial knights holding their own here at this stage. So what I'm trying to figure out is do we have the resources here to take on two knights? I'm rapidly losing my armor penetrating ability. Uh, Drazar's gone. Inca, we just have one model left. And so this could be the danger of the scales start to tip and the Drakari run out of resources to bring whole knights down. And we've got to try and do it where you destroy a whole knight in one go, otherwise they just turn on you if they survive. Any other firepower? No, these two other units are locked in close combat. So I think we're going to push on to charges next. Charges and Overwatch coming up next. All right, so charges have taken place here. Uh, both of these have gone in. Uh, no damage and Overwatch contacting both of these transports. No damage and Overwatch here contacting this transport. And then locked in close combat at the moment, fighting across uh, on the other flank as well. So it's been a lot of close combat here in this battle. Both armies boasting a lot of firepower, but really uh, things are being decided. Uh, a lot of what's being decided has been done uh, in the assault phase here. We'll get these combats resolved here as two Imperial Knights stride into the Dark Kin here. So, uh, going to go for the Paladin here. Six attacks into each vehicle with the feet. So, threes against the Venom. Oh, that's good. Minus two, Minus isn't two, it? Yeah. yeah, six is to block. Block one, two d three damage. We could survive this here. Depends what Aaron rolls. Yeah, we. Oh, it's d three. Sorry. Yeah. Three. Yeah. 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 One six will keep this transport alive. Oh, that will annoy you here. On, it's done it, haven't we? Yes. Yeah. yeah one win left. Yeah. Okay. Right. Oh, nightmare. Yeah. Okay. And then this one. You should be able to bring it down. S threes. Yeah, five hits. Threes again. That's a lot better. Okay, four have come through. Six up saves. Not this time. 43 damage. Surely this one's gone. Uh, there's loads of wounds there. Six, seven, I think, is the total. A valiant attempt. I could come on reroll. But it's just a radar, it's just, I'll leave it, I'll come on here if it explodes, which it doesn't, alright, so, vehicle destroyed here, that was almost a bizarre result being rolled up, but uh, another vehicle brought down here for the Drakari, they certainly are looking thin on the ground at this point, uh, it's no point interrupting play, as, uh, oh boy, um, we've got five command points left, no, we'll leave it. No, I'm not going to try to play. We'll save our command points. So we'll leave it. Aaron can fight at will here. So I think he's going to go with the other knight. And it's going to be all of the feet attacks into this venom. So threes. Okay. Threes again. Nice loads. Six is to block. None. Six D3 damage. Five, seven. There's nine. I'll just roll these up. No. All right. Vehicle destroyed. And it doesn't explode, but another Drakari vehicle brought down. Okay. So pushed. Uh, we're still contending the objective. Aaron's pushed for a little bit, disembarking here. Uh, no models being slain. But uh, Drakari are in trouble now. Uh, Knights starting to. Dominate. There's not a scratch on any of these two. No, this is the problem here for the Drakari at this stage. Uh, we'll now switch over to the other flank. Drakari doing a bit better here, but we'll see. Uh, it's Aaron's turn, so he gets to choose to fight here. Okay. So it attacks on both. Fives. Same squad, damage squad. Yeah, okay. 
just the one. Yes, yeah, sweeping around here with this Reaper Chain Cleaver, but not getting the hits. Okay, so we'll pick a combat. Uh, we may as well fight across uh, here with the Lone Reaver. It's a squad leader, so three attacks, two hits, and no wounds, so Aaron can now fight here. Um, I think I'll put them all into the Venom. Okay, he's going to go after the Venom. Three. Ah, this is the main, this is the damage three option here. Okay, that's yeah, three wounds. Minus three. three. I can't stop that, so it's nine damage. Yep. So I'm just going to pick up nine dice. Good result. Vehicle destroyed. It doesn't explode, but we'll uh, see if the occupants survive. Uh, two of them slain. I'm uh, not going to roll for sixes to keep them alive. I don't think it counts for uh, dis uh, destroyed or slain models. So three of the passengers will disembark, uh, but a good, a great result across here uh, for this Armiga Warglaive. All right, so nothing for the Drakari to fight with on this flank. Uh, the Reavers already attacked and the transports died or has been destroyed. So we're going to fight here. Uh, we'll go for the Succubus in twos. And fives to wound. Yeah, two wounds come through, minus three. So sixes to block. Nope. No, 2d3 damage. And she's done it. She's brought down uh, the Armiga Warglaive. Explode. Nope. And doesn't explode. All right, so model destroyed across here. More success for the Drakari on this side of the table and struggling on this side. So really, it's what the Drakari have left uh, against two Imperial Knights. And the Warglaive across here as well. This game is quite tight at this stage. That's the turn finished, I think. There's nothing else. Yeah, okay, so turn's complete. Uh, morale's not going to be an issue here for the lone Clavex. Uh, my squad across there, they won't fail. The Cyrobite is Leadership 8, so they're okay. And that will mark the end of the turn. So we're going to go on to the third turn next, the Drakari. Uh, some points to harvest for them, but this game's uh, very tight here. So difficult to call at this stage. We're going to go into the middle uh, point of the game now, turn three, coming up next for the forces of the Dark Kin. Alright, so turn three for the Jakari. I think we resigned ourselves to the fact we're not going to bring these two knights down this game. It's going to try and play on tactically. Points have been picked up uh, for holding on to objectives. We scored another three. We held this one here. Uh, we held the one across the other side, held the one down here. So three points picked up. Uh, Drakari certainly still in the fight. I'm going to try and just score more points than the Imperial Knights are able to here. So we've camped out on this objective. The two Archons have been surrounded by uh, the Carblight Warrior squad. We've stayed in close combat with this Venom, but disembarked uh, from the edge here with the Witches. Uh, so they've ended up just here. They're on plus one strength for their combat drugs. They're going to go hunting uh, for that Tech Priest Engine on top of that objective. Uh, and then whilst locked in combat here to prevent Overwatch, going to charge in one last Banzai charge here uh, from the Clavex from the Incubin. He could cause a bit of damage uh, with his blades. Uh, the Flyers headed straight across 20 inches. Uh, then the Reavers that were on this flank, uh, one's disengaged from close combat and gone 18 inches. The others that weren't in close combat, they have advanced plus 8 inches guaranteed. They've made it to here uh, and they're getting ready to fire. Then across here, our policy with the Witches and Succubus worked well over here against uh, the Armiga Warglaive. So we're going to try and repeat the process here. So they've all headed off in this direction uh, to try and go after that, to clear that off of the objective. Carblight Warriors here as well, ready to fire with their blaster. And then uh, Lemayan here has advanced across, uh, ready to go onto the objective as well. And across the other side, the other uh, Lemayan just there has claimed that objective. Just trying to spread out on multiple objectives here. Movement's done. Go on to shooting phase next. Okay, so shooting phase has been resolved here for the Drakari. They actually managed to manage to shoot the character before they reached him in close combat. Uh, so he was hit by a blast pistol, uh, a haywire grenade, no, a plasma grenade helped flush him out, and also uh, the uh, poisoned pistols as well. So that character's gone. Might be able to launch a charge off in this direction to try and go after the next objective. Uh, firepower from uh, splinter rifles doing no damage across here. Necrotoxin missile firing down and twin splinter rifles firing no damage against the infantry. Uh, and then the weaponry 
One blast of firing across, uh, two dark lances firing across, no damage. But blast pistols here, uh, one of them got through and caused five wounds. And that is it on this flank. Across here, this armour goes down to two wounds left. That was multiple plasma grenades being thrown, uh, blasters, blast pistols coming from uh, the two uh, witch squads and also the succubus armed with a blast pistol as well. It's just two wounds left to try and uh, finish off the warglaive on that flank. We'll go on to charges and overwatch next. All right, so uh, charges have taken place. Clavex could charge in uh, without any overwatch. Uh, it's holding position with these, just going to try and camp out on top of the objective. Then across here, the witches did charge in. First to charge with the reavers, one wound taken on overwatch, but they've contacted both the character and the infantry. Witches have made it in as well, so now this objective looks like it's in trouble. And then across here, all the witches, succubus, have made it in against the warglaive on this flank as well. Charges have gone according to plan here for the Drakari. We're going to combat resolution for them next so we'll fight here we can pretty much choose where we want to fight uh because there's no command points left Aaron is not gonna be able to interrupt play we'll fight here with the clavex uh, six attacks we'll go for dual blades and it's twos to hit now uh with flensing fury we're on turn three uh sixes will be really good if we can get any none zero damage not been able to break through uh, the armor just there. It's a shame, so we're going to have to leave this entire sector here. We'll, we'll go over to this side now. So, fighting around here, which is we'll go against the infantry squad uh, with all of our attacks. So, the Hecatrix, first of all, with our Agonizer. It's twos to hit, fours to wound. Wound comes through, AP minus two. So, six up save. Saved on a six, well done. Uh, and then Shardnet and Impaler uh, is. Uh, they've all hit. Uh, strength 3, plus 1 strength, uh, and then we're on plus 1 strength as well for our combat drugs. So 3's to wound. 2 wounds come through, minus 1. Okay, both gone, so that's uh, 2 rangers left. And then regular witches fighting now with their attacks. Uh, 3 attacks each for their Hecatari blades. So 2's uh, to hit, the dice has just dropped, I'll reroll that one. Force to win. Just the one comes through. Four up save. Okay, so one ranger left. We fight the Reavers next. We'll put all of our attacks into uh, the character. We'll go after him. Twos to hit. Well, oh, misses hit. Threes to wound. Uh, yeah, three wounds come through. AP minus one. This is with the blade veins. No, three wounds taken. He's still alive. It's a four wound model. Uh, but the Admech struggling now. To hold on to this objective. So fight with the succubus now. Four attacks. Uh, and then plus one for our combat drugs. Twos to hit. They've all hit. Fives to wound. Just the one comes through. It could be enough. It's AP minus three. D3 damage. Got him. Does he explode? Yep. Yep. And you've got no command points here. And you wouldn't even want to re-roll it anyway, no. So detonation takes place here. Uh, we'll resolve the damage. What a turn up here. An explosion rocks the battlefield. Uh, first explosion for the knights, isn't it, here? Yeah. Uh, no, sorry. How could I forget? No, the, the Dominus glass exploded earlier on. All right, but we'll resolve the damage just down here. All right, so damage resolved. Uh, a wound taken on uh, the succubus has since moved across. Then three wounds taken on this squad, two wounds taken on this witch squad, and then the carb-like warriors that were nearby, uh, they have been wiped out. So deadly explosion here. It's uh, decimated the Drakari units over on that flank. So Aaron, Aaron can fight back here. I think the Clavex is going to regret charging in. And then there's a bit of fighting back to do uh, across the other side as well of the last of the Admech units holding the objective. All right, so the rest of the combat's resolved. Uh, four wounds came through. Four hits came through against him, but then triple one. One wound made it through. Uh, fouled my armor save. Yeah. D3 damage. Just one caused. Needs a six to keep him alive. Roll a six. The Clavex, by miracle, utter miracle, has survived. The Venom uh, is not so lucky. It's been destroyed uh, just there. So we have lost all our vehicles except that flyer. All vehicles for the Jakari are destroyed. Then across here, uh, we lost a witch in close combat and against the last of the Admech units. That's it. Resolved. Both sides 
Why, Jakari, not much left here, but bits all over the table, which for holding objectives may well prove useful here. As far as hardware is concerned, Imperial Knight's doing better. Two very strong units uh, here, but they're outnumbered, and the Jakari's swarming around the table may well be able to continue to harvest uh, the victory points being picked up. But having said that, a lot of firepower here. Aaron could start clearing zones and wiping out Drakari units and starting to claim the battlefield for himself. We'll see. We'll go on to turn three next for the Imperial Knights. All right, so movement's complete. No points being picked up here. Uh, Drakari held this one, so Aaron's going to try and get himself into position uh, to try and hold objectives and clear away as many at uh, point scoring uh, Drakari units as possible. So heading off 12 inches of this knight, going to try and rescue uh, the Admech holding on to that objective, and then moving back onto this objective uh, with the knight Paladin. That is it. Movement's done. Shooting phase next. All right, so shooting phase resolved. Interesting results. So double uh, heavy stubbers firing down, four carb light warriors destroyed. Uh, the repeated battle cannon, tactical tactical play here from Aaron is trying to eliminate the Drakari's opportunity of scoring victory points. So the witch squad uh, that was holding the objective is gone. Uh, then the other squad that was there uh, had to remove two models, so that objective has been cleared now. We'll not be able to pick a point up for that next turn. Uh, the Lamea. The Lemayan just here has been destroyed as well. It's not a character, so that's been picked off. That was firepower from uh, the Storm Spear rocket pod on top. Then the Thermal Cannon uh, also fired across uh, here, helping to destroy the Witches. Uh, Lance Pistol in close combat didn't hit, and that is the shooting phase complete. But it's been uh, a pretty good result here for the Imperial Knights, denying the Drakari the opportunity of scoring two points at the start of their next turn. We'll go on to charges and overwatch next. All right, so charges have gone ahead. Uh, we've just removed a bit of the terrain here. It makes sense that the knight would just smash it aside. So he's pushed into close combat there uh, against the witches and uh, against the bikers just to try and help out uh, the last of the Admech holding on to that objective. Okay, so we'll resolve combats next. Okay, so combats have been resolved. Uh, we lost the witch as Aaron's attacks were quite successful against the bikers. So uh, we just have one of them left with one wound remaining. Uh, the Skatari infantry, the rangers are gone. Uh, it is just the tech priest engine here that remains alive with one wound remaining on him. Yeah, okay, so that's the situation. One tech priest engine here, the two knights remain alive. Drakari, they've got bits here and there across the ball, but st starting to look very, very thin on the ground. If they win this fight, it's going to be very close here. Uh, they have taken some serious damage at the hands of the Imperial Knights. They've debuted into Season 8 here, and even though it's not the complete army, they've had to borrow some resources from the Adeptus Mechanicus. They have given a very, very good account of themselves here in this fight. But the turn is over. We'll now go on to Drakari turn 4. Points to pick up. We'll still get this one. And we have troops, yeah, we'll still get that one. And out of range of the other, just over there. So two points. The points continue to flow in. Not as many as uh, we were lined up to get, but still points flowing in for the Trikari as we go into their fourth turn. Right, so Trikari turn four. Uh, we're going to go in for a doomed charge here with the Clavex. Uh, this Archon's move forward to try and let loose with the Blast Pistol. The other one's going to hold on to this objective. Uh, the Infantryman, Carblight Warriors, move round of his Blaster. Going to try and fire at this uh, Knight through here. We have pulled back from combat. We've played Cruel Deception for two command points. It means we can pull away from close combat, still shoot and still charge as well. Uh, two Reavers now uh, lining up to let loose their shots. 19 wounds to try and strip off uh, that uh, Admech. Imperial Knight. We've banked left with the Flyer and have gone 20 inches. Uh, the Lamian just in the corner there, uh, holding on to that objective just next to the Land Raider. And then here, Succubus moving across to lay claim to this objective. So that's Drakari with the last of what they have, just quickly rummaging around, gathering uh, the last of the resources here from their raid to try and cash in on as many victory points as possible. Movement's done. We've gone to shooting phase next.
All right, so shooting phase complete here and a grand total of zero damage. Just couldn't get the wounds coming through. Managed to get two wounds with Dark Lances here, but Aaron rolled a six and a five for his five plus invun save with the Iron Shields uh, and then Blasters here. Getting their hits and Blast Pistols as well, but just couldn't roll up to wound against the toughness of these knights. Shooting phase finished. No impact at all. Charges, yes. Coming up next. All right, so charges are taking place here. Uh, we charged in with the Archon, using the 2 plus invun save to protect us as we went in. No damage coming through, and that paved the way for the Clavex to charge in. Uh, and then across here, the Witches. They've just singled out the Tech Priest, Engine Seer. So I'm going to go after him, uh, using that Cruel Deception stratagem so they're able to make the charge. Uh, charge is complete. We'll go on to combat resolution next. So good dual blades here with the Clavex. Uh, we can't reroll any ones, it's for Carbolite models, uh, so, oh, disaster, our blade's just clanging on the side of this Imperial Knight, uh, we'll attack with the Archon with his five attacks, rerolling ones, nothing from him, Jakari, we don't have the resources here to take these knights on, uh, and then now we'll fight across the other side, uh, Hecatrix, try and bring down uh, the last wound on the Tech Priest Engines here. That's actually hits coming through because of our power from pain. One wound. Minus two. Um, He's past him, maybe. We'll check the uh, arrows order five. We're just going to check to see if it's a three plus save or a four plus, foot plus save for the Tech Priest Engines here. I think it's a three plus. plus He's survived. Okay. Uh, Shard Net and Impaler. Three attacks. No rerolls. Two wounds. Aha, minus one. So two four ups. Four and five. I can't believe it. And then one regular witch has hit. Has wounded. What's our bonus in there? Plus one strength. Yeah, two wounds come through. No minus. Three up saves. Foul one. Finally got him. Managed to bring the tech priest engines here down. He can go. The witches will sit exactly where they are. They're now holding the objective. Uh, all that's left is just a Imperial Knight to, to kick off that objective just there. And that's combat's resolved. No, Aaron can fight back here. So here we go. Aaron going to use the feet here. Four attacks into the Clavex just to try and get him. There's no invun save to protect this model. Just the six plus uh, ignoring damage. Two. two hits come through. Two's to wound. Yep. Yep, minus two for feet. Uh, got him. Yep. Two to three damage. Four wounds. Quadruple six. No. Okay, so Clavex is gone. He's met his match. He's brave though, charging in twice against the knight, I think, in this game. And now trying to gonna try and get the Archon. Just need to bypass that two plus in one save. Uh, They've all hit. Got a bad feeling about this. Okay, so that is six. So I have to roll one at a time. Can't be re rolled for any reason. First one. <laughs> 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 Failed. Shield goes down, uh, and it's minus two. So only have a five plus. So it's uh, six d three damage. Okay. I'll just roll these. He's gone as well. Oh no, that's bad. Here from the Drakari. Knights are dominating it. The more damage that's caused, the more models that are slain, the more they dominate the battlefield here at this point. But is it too little, too late? Turn's finished. Two Imperial Knights still on the rampage here. Uh, so we'll end it for the Drakari. There's no morale for them to resolve. So we'll now head on to turn four for the Imperial Knights. Okay, so on the movement phase, there's none. Both knights are going to sit where they are. They're both camped on objectives. It's a case of where to direct the firepower here to eliminate as many Drakari units as possible. It's a race against time. Got a sense the Drakari may have done enough here to edge victory, but uh, we'll press on to firepower next for the Imperial Knights. All right, so firepower resolved. Not too bad. Uh, double heavy stubbers going across. Didn't take out the witch that's just tucked in there. Uh, but the... Uh, Carb Light Warrior here, Storm Spear Rocket Pod took him out, so he's gone. Aaron's just trying to eliminate entire units here, a bit of overkill, but uh, gradually has to get rid of these uh, to stand any chance. Thermal Cannon took out one of the Reavers. Uh, Stubber took out one of the Reavers. 
Repeated Battle Cannon took off four wounds on the flyers. It's down to six left, and that's firepower complete. Uh, so then, uh, charges next. Going to try and clear away the three witches holding onto the uh, objective just here. That'll mean that Aaron can plant himself on these three, or these two objectives here, and try and gain uh, the command points. I just... It might be a case of Drakari hiding stuff at this end, harvesting command points, and Aaron sitting on uh, harvesting victory points, and then Aaron sitting on his two, harvesting the points and taking pot shots at long range at the Drakari units as they try and hide. We'll see, but that's the way the game's going at the moment. There's hardly anything left on the table. Charges is coming up next. No, it's charges are going ahead here. So, is there going to be all 12 attacks with the feet? Going to go into the witches. Threes. Oh, going to need our dodge here. Twos to wound. Okay, uh, that is ten. Ten. I think he's going to get us here. Four plus dodge. Not bad, jumping about and dodging those six, but four make it through. It's D3 at a time on the off chance that we can survive. Two. First model takes two. Foul, just gone. Next model one. takes one, he's six here. No. And then finally, 2D3 on the Hecatrix. That's five, so three. three. Triple six. No, squad wiped out. Well done. Clearing the objective. Just it. So look at the defiance here from the knights, both camped out on objectives, they've cleared uh, the Drakari away. Uh, end of turn, that's it, no morale to resolve, Aaron's wiped out entire units here. Turn 5 for the Drakari next. Alright, it's so movement done, we've banked the fly around, it's gone in this direction, that model whilst it stays alive will shield some of the characters here for the Drakari, but we don't have much left. One uh, Laman just in the corner there, uh, just over here. Archon's going to sit where he is, just going to try and use his 2 plus invon save to defiantly hold that objective. At the start of our turn, we picked up one point for holding this one, one point for, uh, in the corner, and then one point here as well. So three more points being picked up by the Drakari, so they may well have done enough. It looks like they've done enough here uh, to see this game through. Uh, to victory. Unless we start going into turn 6, turn 7, there might be a chance here for the Knights uh, to uh, keep those two points flowing in and then wipe the Drakari off the objectives. Alright, so firing coming in from the fly, just caused one wound with a Shatterfield missile, it's down to 18 left on the Knight, no charges. Turn's finished, turn 5 for the Knights. So, turn 5 for the Knights, Aaron's going to sit where he is, going to pick up two points. Uh, and you know what you are doing for future games is you're harvesting points for the Imperial Knights. They may well serve them well uh, in the league here. So I uh, couldn't have predicted this though. Two knights just going to sit on objectives at the end of the game. And you can imagine them scanning the battlefield here, shooting anything that moves. Even if a rat scurries across, they'll let a salvo off against that. We're going to shooting phase now for the Imperial Knights on turn five. Right, we're on shooting phase here, uh, so Aaron's fired down, the witch that was hidden behind here from this is gone. Uh, no damage uh, with the heavier weaponry, the thermal cannon and the Stormsby rocket pod caused no damage against the flyer. They roll multiple invon saves uh, there. Aaron's just fired the relic repeated battle cannon, everything is going into the Archon, it is the Warlord, so there's a point available there. Twelve shots is rolled up here, so threes. Two's to wound. Oh, five, four. Uh, five. Five. Five have made it through. Two plus in one save. That is the second time in this game that the, <laughs> the battery's gone flat on that thing. Okay, so you've made it through. Uh, that's going to be 5d3 damage. Ah, oh, blast. There's loads. I'll just roll these five. Ah, oh, Warlord slain and kicked me off an objective. Great result. No charges, no overwatch. Shooting is complete. Uh, we'll see if the game continues. Okay, so it's the player at the first turn, which is the Drakari. Three plus, the game continues. We do. Okay, so uh, we will go on to turn six for the Drakari, wherever they are. What have we got left? Two, three models left for them. This game's, uh, there's hardly anything left on the battlefield here.
Yeah, it's moving to start. I've just banked the fly around 20 inches. I'm going to force Sam to try and bring this down to try and get through to the character, the succubus that's holding on to this objective just here. Drakari again picked up two points, one and two, uh, keeping the points flowing in. Uh, and it, that should sit him through to victory here. But still, the Imperial Knights are playing catch up and gradually wiping the Drakari out. Uh, we'll go on to shooting phase next. Right, it's so a shooting phase resolved. Firepower from this, all of it was directed against the knight across there. It's now down to 16 wounds left, but still in very healthy condition. Turns finished. Turn six for the knights. Next. So uh, turn six for the knights. We're straight on to shooting phase. No movement from these two knights here. And again, two points picked up for them as well. Uh, so this is the 3d6 discard and the lowest result going into here of the repeater battle cannon and heavy stubbers as well. Six wounds required. Three uh, fours to hit the flyer. All my command points have been used up now, so both of us have none left. Um, two wounds. Two wounds. Save one. D3 damage. Just two sixes to ignore. No, two more wounds calls down to four. That'll put the flyer into a bracket. It's gradually disappearing. But it looks like it'll force Aaron to fire everything he has with the other knight against this flyer. This is a stubborn. Fours, fives, one. one. Failed. Six. No. Okay, three wounds left. So it looks like everything here to bring down. Uh, the Trikari flight. Uh, Stubber. Two hits. Um, no wounds. No. no. Um, D6 for thermal cannon. Four shots. Four shots. Fours for hits. Ah, oh, no. Two ones. A two and a three. Storm spear. That's better. Three hits. Three to wound. This could be it. Two, two wounds come through. Five pin bond saves. Pass one. D6 damage. Three plus. Yep. It is a three, unless you roll a six. No, oh, it's gone. And if it explodes or not, it doesn't make any difference. It doesn't. Fly destroyed. All right, so turn finished. No charges, no combats to resolve. Two Imperial Knights left on the board. There's about 800, 900 points worth of stuff. And Drakari have one succubus and a Lamleaman, however it's pronounced, left on the table as well. Uh, so uh, it's your chance to roll up now. Four plus for turn seven. Yep. We do. All right, we're going to turn seven and next. All right, so turn seven for the Drakari. I, this is a bizarre end to a game. You're not going to see a game end like this uh, again, again for a long time. So what we've done, uh, rolled up an advance here. So we snatched our point because it's at the start of the turn. They rolled a six for our advance, 2d6 choosing the best, and she's disappeared behind there, so she's not interested in fighting anymore. One lone lady of blue hair against two Imperial Knights. Uh, discretion chosen over Valor, so pulling back behind here, out of line of sight. And after claiming the objective there, the Lameaman, however it's pronounced, has uh, disappeared right behind the Land Raider as well, ready to hide. Just that we're not, not the, losing the pride of being wiped out here, so... This looks like it's all over now. So two points picked up for the Drakari. We'll end the turn. Uh, then we'll go on to Aaron's turn. He'll claim his two points, and then the game is finished. So we'll end it there. What a, a tussle between these two sides. Uh, great matchup between these two armies. Two vastly different play styles, uh, and both armies looking completely different to each other uh, as well. So a real contrast of a fight. But Imperial Knights, what defiance from them here uh, in their first battle in the league. They've withstood the Drakari and given a great account of themselves. We think Drakari do have the win. We'll get a final score in points. We're close enough and a respectable score from both sides. All right, so final score. Uh, it is quite a clear margin, actually, for the Drakari. They managed to keep the points flowing in. That was the key here in this game. So the early push ahead and spreading out onto the objectives proved crucial in this fight. So they picked up 18 points for holding on to objectives, a big score for them. Uh, and then also a point picked up for first strike as well. So 19 points, uh, the final score for them. Imperial Knights picked up 9 points for holding on to objectives, picking up more towards the end of the game as they killed the Warlord. And first strike achieved as well. So 11 points for the Imperial Knights. And Drakari didn't get Warlord kill. This is the Warlord here uh, for the Imperial Knights, he remained alive. 
uh, right through to the end of the game. 1911, the final score. Drakari have picked up their third win and a heap of victory points. So it looks like they'll rock it to the top of the table and they've set an impressive standard for the other factions to follow. It's great to see the Drakari back. They've been shelved for such a long time. Now all of a sudden they've burst onto the channel and have tipped uh, the league uh, and the faction uh, rankings upside down. So great to see them uh, back on the channel again. Imperial Knights have burst onto the scene now and have rattled the Drakari here, almost wiping out their force entirely. So uh, a good start for the Imperial Knights. They've lost the game, but uh, great pride for them here, taking on an army that's performed well. A uh, decent amount of points being scored. And with two more games to go, Imperial Knights are certainly not out of the league yet. So there it is. That's the battle. Uh, keep a lookout for more. Uh, season 8 battle reports uh, alternating between YouTube and then onto the Plus channel. So if you want to follow the entire league and see all of the action, check out strikingscorpion82plus.tv uh, to see uh, the other half of Season 8 over on the Plus channel. But in this fight here, the Imperium has lost against uh, the Drakari. Uh, another successful raid from them. But great battle. Thanks to Aaron Allen for taking part. Uh, that is the 10th game of the season here and the Drakari have picked up their third win great battle thanks for watching and tune in next time Right, so units of the game for both sides. Uh, Aaron's going to give it to the Knight Valiant. Uh, it took the fight to the Drakari and helped uh, the Knights get stuck in. Uh, caused some decent damage uh, in the shooting phase and in close combat as well. And proved, well, it was ridiculously tough. Loads of invon saves being passed. The 4 plus invon save certainly helpful. And uh, it took a lot of effort for the Drakari to bring it down. Uh, for the Drakari, the witches perform well in this game, bogging down uh, the Armager Warglaives. Uh, but I'm going to give unit of the game to the Succubus. Uh, decent there with the Glaive, causing multiple wounds against those Warglaives and helping to tip the scales in the Drakari's favour uh, for the attacks going on on this flank. But that's units of the game for both sides. <laughs>